Okay, so I generally like to do this project with my sixth graders where we design a tree frog and then we have the vine in there and also a leaf. And for this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to draw it. Now, typically, I do it on the gray paper with a white colored pencil. But just to get the drawing part down, I'm going to be using white paper for that. So this is kind of what things will look like at the very end. It's a little shiny because this one's been laminated and stuff because it's one of my examples. But um, when I tilt it a little bit out of the light, you can see, you know, we have our tree frog. Um, we have the vine that's going through. Then we also have this big leaf that's behind him. And when I go to do um, how to draw videos, I typically have how to draw books. And then I just went and photocopied this. And I'll be using this as a guide. And you can kind of see, you know, here's the first step. Here's the second step. And we go through and we keep doing that. And then, like, there's even a second page here. You can see it's kind of, you know, got some smudges on it and stuff like that. But we continue to, to draw it and then add the vine. Um, we add some details. And then we go back in and really add the leaf and stuff like that. So to get started, you want to make sure, since your frog is kind of more wide than he is tall with what we're adding, you want to make sure that your papers go in the right direction. So you want to make sure that's going what we call landscape style. So it should be wider, like on the top and the bottom, than it is on the sides. Okay, so this is landscape style. That's the way your paper needs to go. So make sure that you have that going the right direction to begin with. So what I like to do is I just I start with the sheet. And as you can see, the first step that we're going to draw is the arm of our frog and because we have to draw like the other parts of our frog i try to do it near the top right corner of my paper i don't want to do all the way up to the top but maybe just a couple inches you know from the right and then a couple inches down so about right in through here is a good step and that's basically like a triangle without its bottom so i'm going to draw a shape that starts to angle up a shape that starts to angle back down. Now I'm going to do another one of those a little bit smaller on the inside. Okay, so we're drawing an actual like three-dimensional arm. We're not going to do a stick arm. And I'm drawing pretty dark on this so that it will show up on the projector. But when you draw them on your paper, you might want to lighten up your lines just so it's easier for you to erase in case you make a mistake. Now, the next part, you know, if we just follow along with the, the worksheet, is these frogs actually have like three fingers or, or three toes. And then there's also round parts at the end of each of these because they're like little suction cups. And that's what helps them stick to their trees and into their habitats. So to create the, what would be the arms on this one, or the fingers, since this is his arm, you would have... You know, kind of two straight lines coming out. This is going to be one finger. And then you're going to just draw a circle to connect them for the suction cup. Now, because they have three of those on each hand, I have to draw three. So, again, I'm just going to draw two straight lines. Then I'm going to draw a circle for the suction cup. And then, again, I'm going to draw two straight lines then a suction cup. And then I'm going to go back in and really connect that there, what would be like his wrist. Okay? I'm going to go back to my How to Draw worksheet. I'm going to notice we're still on this step here. So they have like this belly part, and it's just a curved line that's going to come down. Then I'm going to do another curved line that comes down for the bottom of their, um, like what would be their jaw, the bottom, bottom part of their mouth. So to create that, what I'm going to do is, kind of like at the wrist area where these fingers kind of meet the arm, I'll draw a curved line coming down. I'm going to make it go past, you know, a little bit where we first started drawing that arm. And then to create the bottom of their mouth, I'm going to draw another curved line. 
And this is going to be like the bottom part of their jaw. Now, so that I can tell like the actual mouth line, we're going to draw a little bit of a straight line that kind of comes back towards that first arm that we drew. And then we got to draw the top of the mouth and then a, kind of like a circle area for where the eyeball goes. And we're going to draw a line that connects back to create the back of the frog. So to do that, I'm going to do a kind of like a curved line going up. I'm going to do a circle part here, which will be where we're going to put the eyeball a little bit later. And then I'm going to draw another line going back towards his arm. Okay, so if we kind of look at the colored version of this, you'll notice like this is that arm that we drew. This is that hand that we drew. Here's their belly line. Here's the mouth line, like the bottom of the jaw. The line actually fits for the mouth. And then we've drawn this line that goes up. We're going to draw a circle in here for the eyeball. And then another line that goes back that makes the back of the frog. So if I go back to my drawing part, we're going to go ahead and draw the eyeball. And basically, that's just a circle inside that rounded shape that we drew there. And then they actually have diamond-shaped eyes. If you look at an actual picture of um, the red-eyed tree frog, which is what these are called, they have diamond-shaped pupils. That black part of their eye is a diamond. Okay. And then, kind of go back to our worksheet. Now, I went ahead and finished, you know, that, that top part of our frog because I don't like it when that's not completed and it's just kind of like, you know, open air up and through here. But if you notice, like we've already done this step, so it's time to move on for this one. Now, we have what I call up here the floating foot. And the reason I call it a floating foot is because when you look at the colored version of this project, you'll notice it just looks like it's floating there. And the reason being is the way that these guys are so flexible and bendy, um, his leg and the way he attaches to the vine is just the way his foot is floating there. So to do the floating foot, you kind of go up here, which is like correlation with this elbow. And we're going to draw the letter C. And then what's happening is just like they've got three fingers, they've got three toes for each foot. So again, we're just going to do like we did here. They're just going to be tilted. So instead of going down like this, they're now going to be tilted like this. So to do that, you're just going to do two lines, kind of like an equal sign, and then the circle for the suction cup. And we've got to do this two more times. Okay, so I'll do one more, two lines, and suction cup. And then three, or for the third toe, two lines, and a suction cup. Now, you'll notice that I didn't connect these yet because they're webbed. I'll just go back in and I'll just add some little smaller C shapes or some curved lines to connect them. And it looks like our foot is floating. So the next part that we're going to do is they have this arm. The other arm kind of comes down from their body and kind of hangs out on the vine. So it's like the same shape as what we drew in the very beginning. But now it's going to be tilted on its side. So to create that, here, you know, in our belly region, we're going to draw a line that kind of comes down and then out towards the left bottom side of our paper. And again, to not make it a stick, we actually want it to make it look like it's a 3D frog. We're going to draw another one for that so that we can turn that into a shape and not just a line. And then again, they've got three fingers with the suction cups on each end on here. So we draw two lines, suction cup, two lines, suction cup, two lines, and a suction cup. That way we've given them one, two, three fingers. Now, the next part that we're going to draw is the vine is a big feature in here. It kind of takes up a lot of our middle ground. 
Okay, so our frog would be in the foreground, the vine would be in the middle ground, the leaf would be in the background. You'll notice like it kind of starts up here and we're just going to connect like the tops of the feet and the tops of the hands and then take it down off the end of the page. So what that looks like is we're going to start up here, the very top of our page. We're going to just draw a curved line and we're going to connect all of those, like I guess would be the ankles and the wrist of our frog. So we'll connect the floating foot. We'll connect it here. It's going to start to run into the belly a little bit. So then I'm going to drop this line down this way. And I just curved it and just follow it along. And I'm going to take this down and off the bottom of my page there. And I'm going to do the same thing. But now instead of doing it at like the tops of the feet and the hands, I'm going to do it around the toes and the fingers. So again, I'm going to start up here at the top of my page. And bring this down and around those toes and those fingers. I'm going to kind of follow this line too, since this is a vine. Okay, I want to make it try to be an even shape. So where like this drops down, this line's going to drop down. It's going to come over here towards, you know, these fingers here and then kind of drop back down off the edge of my page. So now I've got my vine. But if you notice, like my frog's not done, he's just missing a couple things. So if I go back to my how to draw sheet, the second page of it, 